Will you welcome the man who's that magnificent writer? A great dramatist. It's Mr. Truman Capote. Mr. Tennessee Williams. The great accomplishment of In Cold Blood is that I never appear once. I wanted to write a book that would read exactly as though it were a novel, except that every word of it would be absolutely true. I think the only thing I've done that is an autobiographical work was The Glass Menagerie. It was the first hit that I had. I really think you've written a masterpiece here. Thank you. Why did I write? We all uh, have a great desire to escape from ourselves. People are always saying, are you happy? I think it's the most idiotic question I know. I mean, nobody is happy. You're very frank about your homosexuality in the memoirs. I was aware, of course, for a long time before it ever surfaced. I just felt things would be easier if I were a girl. I've known Tennessee a long time. Our friendship has had its ups and downs. Here is a man who has devoted his whole life to art and is a genius. Why do writers fall in and out of friendship with each other? So well, jealousy, don't you think? Most people think because somebody is a creative individual, they must be intelligent. It is not so, like Tennessee Williams. Capote's a liar and everyone knows he is. It really was a sort of intellectual friendship, though people inevitably thought otherwise. Now, I don't care what anybody says about me as long as it isn't true. I'm talking too intimately to you. <laughs> Let's get on to something more general. <laughs> but if friendship leads to love, must it also, does it normally lead to sex too? No. Friendship lead to sex? <laughs> <laughs>